During that time he has formed players, given countless future national team as the first chances and set down the roots for a formidable coaching tree. After his last stint coaching Club America, he signed on with Pyramids in Egypt. Initially, he was overseeing the sporting side but eventually, he took over as manager before totally parting ways and returning to Latin America. He's in Nancy. Even if his surprisingly helpful relationship advice on Twitter and his tactical analysis on YouTube showed La Volpe was an adaptable content creator, that moustache and the surly face it's attached to belong on the bench. Editors pick Spanch Warmersane may have to escape Pep to save career why most Man United fans want Man City to win Premier League instead of Liverpool Leno lifts lid on Arsenal dressing room post-mortem and insists Mustafi apology. Not necessarily will two players injured and two points dropped equal no top four for Chelsea. So when Toluca decided it had had enough of club legend Hernan Cristant, it made sense to turn to El Bigoton once again. With Cristant already a disciple of Le Volpe's Mo, there wouldn't be a drastic change to the playing style, and Le Volpe would be able to get everything out of players throughout the ranks at Toluca. The Red Devils were in a situation of crisis. They'd been thumped by Sporting Kansas City in the first leg of the CONCACAF Champions League and sat 15th in the 18-team Liga MX. The now up to 10th and with three weeks left knocking on the door of the top eight, which would put the club into the playoffs. La Volpe has suffered just one defeat as coach of the club in five league games, but Toluca still needs to improve. Last week's draw against Loli Queretaro cost the club points it can't afford to drop if it's going to make up the four-point gap that exists between it and the final playoff spot. That in makes this weekend's game against Miguel Herrera's Club America even more important for the Red Devils, the manager insisted he's far more focused on what's going to happen on the field Sunday than seeing one of his ex-teams, coached by one of his ex-players. Memories of his previous stint with the club. Hard feelings toward directors. He claims he has no time for that. I've been coaching for more than 30 years. I've already forgotten, even the memories. For a long time, I've told my players that they're not playing against a shirt, nor are they playing against names, Le Volpe said this week. I want to teach my players and transmit the message that you play against systems, that the opponent has a system of play and you have to know how to counteract that. I never think about the shirts, whether it's yellow, green or white. I'm past that stage. The hardened coach may be past the stage where he worries about rivalries or past stints, but he still has plenty to worry about in the present. Toluca is a club where the standard is still high, and even with many key players leaving in the winter the directors and fans were still expecting more out of Toluca this season. La Volpe's mini turnaround has given those groups hope that there still may be life in this team. I see Toluca with the same greatness and pressure America has to always be in the tournament, said Toluca midfielder William Da Silva, who spent several tournaments with America. Toluca doesn't have the same number of trophies, but it's been in a lot of finals and it has been a team that always shows up to fight. Sunday the greatness and the trophies stay out of it. We're coming to defend the crest with our life. We're 11 v 11 and whoever does things better will get the victory, that's music to Le Volpe's ears. While he's spent time praising America coach Herrera, Le Volpe also clearly wants to put a focus on what happens on the field and not the various storylines coming together off it. America is his former team. It comes into the Easter matchup with several injured players and on a swoon of two matches without a victory. But the coach insisted he is only worried about his own side. Article continues below. In fact, he grew a bit redundant, saying at a news conference, the three points are very important. It's a key match, and we've got to get three points.
I need the team to be concentrated all 90 minutes and it's super important if we have the goal to be in the final eight. The three points are key to get into the league Illa. It's a very important game, but it shows you exactly where his eyes are fixed. The not on anything America is doing. They're on how his team is going to try and take the game to their visitors. Really, fans shouldn't have expected anything else. The old maestro is back in the technical area, pulling the strings and demanding everything from his players. Le Volpe was made to coach, let's block ads. Why?